Hey guys, here's MookLab again in English for you doing a special tutorial to show you how to create your center line in to track editor for MS Bikes. I have to admit that it's not very simple to understand how it works. So first you have to click on file load and load your TRH file and here as you can see I have the sample track center line and in the background you can see the um, Agueda uh, layout first to see something better looking you can click on draw Y-frame to see your track as it looks in the game so here you can, as you can see, there's like a bug. I just took the the sample uh, folder and changed some things. So we don't care. It's not a it's not a final track. I mean. So you have or not a center line. We don't care. You are going to click on center line, and you start by the start area. So you click on start area. You click again center line new then you right click where you want and you click add segment okay and this had a segment at the very bottom left of your map as you can see it's an arrow so I have a start like a beginning and another part for the end of the segment so uh, so we don't care the the shadow we can see let's just focus on the track itself so you start to center line like this then you right click and you click add curve and like and now you said oh oh wait oh you did that because when I right click it's not working uh -huh. I know, you know. As you can see, if I zoom, you have a yellow line slicing a cube in two pieces. The pieces, the piece which is, let's let's put it like that. The pieces, the piece I mean, which is in front of the this uh, yellow bar, will work. If you right click there, you have the menu. If you right click after, it won't. Okay, 100%. So you have to click before. So I have my first segment, then the second is a curve. It can be uh, another straight line. And it has to go till you finished your start area let's say like this okay then you click center line merge center line save as and you overwrite or create your track folder underscore start save yes then you click center line again, main, because you are going to create the main center line of the track. Then you click again center line, new. You right click, add segment, OK. Take your segment, and you have to start from. your finish line you can start from another point but you will have to set where is the finish so it's better to start directly from your finish line and so the same you right click at curve or straight you try to keep it at the middle Like 
this at curve and so on then let's say my track is very short do like this at curve so you have your whole center line done and now what you can do is stop just before click outside your center line left click then right click and click close so now you closed it click on center line merge center line save as track folder name .tcl. save yes now i just close track editor and I open it again so maybe this is not useful to do this extra step but oh, I tried many way to to make the center line and I already had surprise so I prefer to make more clicks but it works you know And I forgot a step, that's why it's not working. So click center line. So you have your two center lines saved. Then you have to click starter here, load, open. You open your starter here, center line, merge. You saw the default one disappear. Then you click main, open. You open your main center line. And you click center line, save, uh, merge. Now it's okay. And then you can click file and save your TRH file. Now if I exit, start the soft, I got my center line working. Hell yeah. Let me show you a bit more stuff. You can click now on surface generate to generate the surface of your center line, but you're missing the width. You can uncheck draw to just remove those uh, square. You can click view raise data this way. You can click MX Bikes, load the default RDF file, and from this screen you can set where is your finish line. My finish line is at zero, so it's this. Um, this line, this red line. You can click splits to generate automatically two splits. So your track length is divided by three. Um, you can also create all your checkpoints. So for your start area, you have to click here. Let's remove all checkpoints. You add, you click start area to be on the start area center line. And you click start if it's only for the start. And if your checkpoint is for the start and the finish, you have to click both. So you click start. And let's say the first is here left is from the middle the length 
of this bar let's say 8 and this define where guys can cut the track so you have to set this carefully and right I think the same 8 7 okay then I add another start checkpoint Uh, where is it? 60. What's my lens? Ah, I'm not on start area. That's why 80 is too much. 75. Like this. 7. No, 5. Four and five, let's say. Then now I'm on the main center line, and I can add from zero all my checkpoint. What's nice is when you have the when you don't do like me and you copy the font file for the tracker uh, let me see the name it is um, mm, 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 I don't remember it is it is Arial the Arial Found. so if I say this yeah I exit start again now I have this information this coordinates okay view uh, draw wireframe view raise data mx bikes and load my file so if you want to put the checkpoint exactly here, you know the um, the actual length you have to check. So it's 98 meters from the start. So if I add here 98, I have my checkpoint here. You can save a lot of time like this. Three point five and right three point eight four like this. So you put all your checkpoints. That's done. Don't forget to save. Okay. You can click bits. And now you can place your pits or along your center line or absolutely absolute means you just mouse over like this you check coordinates here and you put your pits where you want so let's say here where they are actually on a getup let's start from there so it's Two two zero ninety six ninety six. I want to rotate them angle. Let's say this uh, it start from the right I thought it started from the left um, two three three one two three okay 
we can set this the amount of columns only six the spacing okay you can play with all those values then you have the pit burst oh I said pit burst <laughs> Well, um, pit boards are always along the track, so let's say you want them here. The long is eighty-two, so it starts from eighty-two, and you can say this. You can set the space between them. The eight. So you have to check for the Z value. No, the Y value. Sorry. You don't have it. Oh yes, let. No, no. No, I don't know what is this let value, but it's not the eight of the track. Um. I think it's 1.5 from the ground, so you don't have to care the 8 value. The difference, if you want them to be more spaced or not. For the starting grid, it's almost the same. You set the number of stalls, let's say 40, 20 per row. Absolute. Position in MX. So let's say from one, three, four. no. Ah, one hundred seventy and one hundred. The angle uh, forty. Ah, no. Okay. Okay, and side from the left, 170 and 100, ah, difference, no, distance from start, row spacing, 2, 3, 4, lane widths. And, and, ah, it's not in absolute. Oh, lol, it's the same. For the side and... <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Distance from the star. Five. Zero. Oh. So you can set... No, you can't set relative. Okay. And so, just move like this your it's strange because the x and z are from the middle of the the grid if i click mx bikes 40 20 per row it the same okay so let's take the center of our center line 175 one, one. Lane width one point five four like this, and you have your forty stalls. You can click the cross. Don't forget to save. And it's almost done. It's almost done. Now you can. Uh, may I do an extended tutorial with the... No, I will do a separate tutorial with the cameras, placement, marshals. Layout is not really 
relevant for us in motocross mm, and uh, the baseline you can generate the baseline from a from a replay oh yeah you have to you have to generate your min and max lines when you click this you generate then you save on your desktop for example and you generate two files you have to put in your final track folder and you do the same for the checkpoint lines you have this kind of buggy <coughs> drawing but it's good it's okay so then click save it will generate also two other files that you copy in your final track folder then save your tier H before you kit the app and and uh, it's done yeah congrats you have your center line working it's beautiful no <laughs> see you soon for another tutorial guys bye